Greetings and thank you for this opportunity once again to come your way and journey with you through this week as we've been pondering on the love that God has for us and how that impacts our lives and our journey through life. Today I want to bring us to this fact, this truth in the scriptures where the Bible invites us to try to know, comprehend in an increasing manner the love of God. In Ephesians 3 verses 17 through 19, the Apostle Paul states the prayer that he was praying for these believers. He says that he was praying that Christ would dwell in their hearts through faith, that they being rooted and grounded in love may be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the width and length and depth and height and to know the love of Christ which is which passes knowledge that they may be filled that you may be filled with all the fullness of God so in the many things that Paul is praying for them he's saying I'm praying that you would know the love of Christ which actually surpasses knowledge which is actually beyond comprehension I want you to comprehend I want you to know by experience. This is an experiential knowing of something that is actually beyond comprehension, is what he's saying. I want you to know the love of Christ, and I want you to know how great it is, how wide, how high, how deep the love of God is. So the point is that you and I need to grow in our understanding of the love of God, not in the sense of just some sort of a theoretical knowledge, but in a practical, meaningful, real life, experiential knowledge of God's love for us. That means in, in real life, you taste and see. In real life, you experience the love of God. And that is what God wants for you and me. Otherwise, Paul would not be praying such a prayer for the, the believers. God wants you and me to experience His love in everyday life. What does that mean for you? How would you know by experience that God loves you? Can you see the fingerprints of God's love for you in your everyday life? sometimes in the little things, sometimes in some big things that happen, that those are expressions of God's love for you. Yes, we've pointed to the cross as the ultimate expression of the love of God. But Paul is also saying, I want you to understand how surpassingly great that love is. There's no measure of the length, the breadth, and the depth, and the height of that love. And I want you to know by experience this love of God. And that should be our prayer, and that should be our expectation that in my everyday, I'm going to experience God's expressions of the love of God. God is ready to show me that He loves me in my everyday journey with Him. Today, tomorrow, and in the days to come, you can experience practically the love of God in your life. Open up to that and say, God, I want to do that. I want to experience your love. Thank you for your love. I receive your love for my life. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you that you express your love for us each and every day. Give us eyes to see. Give us ears that can hear the whispers that come from your heart of love. Give us a heart that can recognize and understand the greatness of your love for us as we journey through life. And Lord, we want to see more and more expressions of the Father's love for us each and every day. May we see it, may we experience this love, which is beyond understanding. God, we thank you for this immeasurable love. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. 
For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.